One of the first complaints that I had myself and I've seen other Apple Vision Pro users talk about is that we can only mirror one single Mac screen into our spatial computing environment. Well, yesterday I got invited to a new test flight for a new app called Split Screen that solves that problem. This app allows me to add a second virtual monitor from my Mac into my virtual computing environment so that I can use dual monitors and have more space to rearrange my windows. In this video, let's take a look at how we can sign up for that test flight, get the app installed, and run it for the first time. Okay, first things first, getting signed up to be able to install Split Screen. Now, the Split Screen app is currently free while it's in test flight, but it looks like it's gonna be about $20 to remove a timer whenever it launches into the App Store fully. So to get started with that test flight, we're simply gonna fill out this Google form that I have on screen. And don't worry, I'm gonna to link to that in the description below so that you can sign up as well. All the developers really need is your Apple ID email so that they can invite you to the test flight. But you can also let them know, you know how much would you be willing to pay for something like this. This is an optional field. All you really need is just your Apple ID email so you can get that invitation. Now, split screen solves another frustration for folks that I've seen that have a different Apple ID for a work provided MacBook that they have. So they've got one Apple ID on their Vision Pro and a different Apple ID on their Mac. Well, with this application, it actually allows you to share screens from your Mac, even if you have an Apple ID mismatch between the two devices. Currently, the application only supports 1080p resolution, but I'll show you later on in the video, you can actually upvote roadmap items, including higher resolutions and other aspect ratios like portrait mode or ultra widescreen as well. All right, let's get into the headset and walk through how we can set this app up together. Okay, first you're gonna get an email from TestFlight that is inviting you to join the uh, testing for split screen. So we're gonna open up Mail on our Vision Pro and we're gonna see that this Good Snooze application has uh, invited us to test split screen multi-display. So we're just gonna tap to open that up and you'll see that test flight opens. If you don't have it installed, you can install test flight from the app store, but you'll see that you can click install right here in the top corner and that will install the application to your Apple Vision Pro. Okay, once that that's installed, we're gonna go ahead and click open right here. We're gonna validate and say that we wanna start testing because this is from test flight. The first thing that pops up is it's going to ask us to uh, allow local network access. Now you want to allow this because otherwise your Vision Pro and your Mac won't be able to talk to each other on your network. So we're gonna tap allow. And then the next step is to get the Mac companion application. And the way they did this, I think is really pretty genius, honestly. So you click get Mac app and it brings up a share option. Now you can copy this URL if you want to, or you can simply click airdrop, and then you can airdrop that over to your Mac and it's gonna go install over on that Mac. So let's connect remotely to my Mac Studio and finish the setup over there. Okay, so I've got my Mac mirrored into my Apple Vision Pro. And you'll see that that split screen dot zip app already downloaded for me. So we're going to open that up and then we're going to drag that into our applications to install it. Then we're just going to double click on it here to open it up. We're going to allow that to open and then we need to enable screen capture so that it can grab our screen and share it over to our Apple Vision Pro. So we're going to open up uh, the screen sharing settings. We're going to allow split screen. We're going to open that up and it's going to ask for our admin password. And then we're going to have to quit and reopen that application, which it will just go ahead and do for us. So we'll double click to open it back up. Yeah, I want to download and get new updates automatically. 
And then the way that we connect is we just go up to our menu bar up here and you'll see this new application right here in your menu bar. You just click on that and you click Apple Vision Pro. And there we go. Now we've got a second screen that has just popped up next to our initial screen. The only thing that we have left to do is to rearrange our screens so that they match the actual physical layout. So to do that, just open up Spotlight and type Displays. And you're gonna open up your display settings and then you're gonna click Arrange right here. So click Arrange and then you'll see that this big one, this is my 4K monitor. This other one is the, uh, the virtual display and that's on the wrong side. So I'm just gonna move it to the other side here. And then you can see that like there's a little bit of a gap right there. So I'm going to resize this window and then I'm going to put it right there so it's lined up on the bottom. And now it's perfectly aligned straight across. See that? So just like any other uh, monitor at this point, I can use it just like I would a normal monitor. I can right click over there and I can see all of that. I've got my dock on this side. If I mouse over to the bottom, the dock moves over there. I can get to the menu bar, all of that cool stuff. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you is you can click the icon up here and you can click roadmap. Now, if you open that up, you can vote for what you want the most. So you can see like, you know, there's 14 votes for 2560 by 1600. There's four votes for widescreen. We've got a, a 4K version right here. Create more than one. So you can vote for what you want to see the most. So I voted for more than one screen. I'd love to have widescreen. Um, and I think some more resolutions would definitely be nice as well as portrait mode. So I don't really care about like the smaller resolutions, but I would like to have like a nicer, you know, bigger resolution. So you can vote for what you want and then you can click close and you can use this as much as you want. Now, remember I said that this is free during the test flight. There's a 15 minute timer and you do have to go over here to remove time limit. And then um, you would like click to unlock that. So I haven't done this yet, but it says that you won't be charged uh, until you know it actually goes out to the app store. And then you would need to like, you know, restore that purchase and actually confirm that $20. The price might also change as well because they were asking how much you would be willing to pay. So be aware of that. And there we have it. We now have a dual screen Mac virtual display through the split screen app so that now we can rearrange our windows across two virtual monitors. Don't forget that you wanna sign up for this test flight to be able to use dual monitors with your Mac. The test flight uh, form link is down below and it just takes you to a Google form. If this guide was helpful, I've got a lot more of them planned. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe below for more Apple Vision tips and tricks. See you next time.